trying to take six or seven classes at the same time. The other thing that we have the ability to offer are drop-in centers. So we aren't necessarily 100% virtual if you don't want to be. And our drop-in centers are staffed with a center director, certified teaching staff, relationship managers, and uh, they are located all over the state of Michigan. So students can go and get additional help in person if need. This is not a GED program at all. This is an actual high school experience and students that graduate with us will receive a high school diploma. This is our Fuller Center. Last year we moved to this location. We have our certified staff, Mr. Steve there, and relationship managers, Miss Kara and Miss Marissa. And I don't know if you can see all the way through the back there, Mr. Crawford is our center director. So when they come into a drop-in center, we do have computers that kids can come in and work at and be able to get one-on-one -on -one help um, in any way that they need. There is no cost at all. All they have to do is give us a call and we will get them enrolled. Even if they're unsure about if this is something that is for them, they are welcome to, again, just call and we will answer as many questions as they need. Every student that comes in is given a computer that they can use to be able to do all of their schoolwork on. And the second piece of equipment that they are given is a uh, Wi-Fi device which gives them internet right from home. So that way there is absolutely no barriers in being able to complete their schoolwork from home. They don't have to step foot in our centers at all, other than to you know, finish their enrollment and for our state testing, they do have to do that uh, as a requirement. But other than that, they have all the tools that they need to be able to complete their education without leaving their home. Students can put double duty in and be able to complete their courses uh, sooner than expected. Um, we also have the ability, because of the flexible scheduling and students don't have to necessarily do school from 8 to 3 or 7 to 2, uh, they are able to do school 24-7. And by doing that, um, they can work around life situations and they can still get their, their courses completed. We cater uh, to the ages between 14 and 21. We are here to help provide hope for them. Uh, and more than hope, we're here to provide an opportunity that is different. Uh, virtual learning is not for everyone, but it does need to be an option for those that, that want to take it on. We've been able to graduate over 1,400 students. Under normal circumstances, pre-COVID, at the end of the year, we have a traditional graduation ceremony, just like any other school would have. This past year, it was a little bit different because with the executive orders we weren't able to bring a large group of folks together so we did do a virtual uh, graduation uh, for all of our centers but uh, even though that was very successful our goal would be to get back to doing it in person they can reach out to us through our website through Facebook they can call the center directly or they can call our enrollment number any of those ways will get them uh, connected to somebody that can help them. Link Learning, located uh, here in West Michigan, or around the state too. To learn more, just head to linklearning.org. So, lots of great options there for families. Mm -hmm. I know my, my niece and nephew actually do this. So. Absolutely. Do they really? Yep. Okay, coming up on The Morning Mix, I didn't know that. We'll be talking with a husband and wife team that have come up with a product to help strengthen your immune system, which is a big deal these days. We'll tell you how it works. What makes it different from the other ones on the market? And one of television's most beloved political commentators is coming back. Find out who Jon Stewart inked a deal with in entertainment. Welcome back. You know, your health and well-being has probably been front of mind more so now than ever before. Those looking for products and inspiration to help achieve better health should listen up. As Salvation Nutraceuticals founders are with us this morning. Darcy and Corrine are here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Well, thank you so much for being here. Can you tell us a little bit about yourselves, how you started this all, what your mission is? 
Yes, you know, Darcy and I are good people that align ourselves with other good people to, to do great things. And our mission is truly to help others. And we do this through our, our philanthropy, our mentoring, and now with our new nutraceutical product that we've come up with, GSH+. Plus. Let's talk a little bit about that, that nutraceutical product. What is this? It helps by strengthening your immune system and other benefits. What makes this product different from the other, you know, immune boosters and formulas that we see out there? Well, what really makes it unique is we've discovered a way to help our bodies produce more glutathione through a new to market ingredient called NACET. Okay, you're going to have to break down the big words for me there, Darcy. What is that? Yeah, you got <laughs> Glutathione is a really big word. So mm -hmm. um, really what it is is our body's own master antioxidant. So what, what, uh, what it does is actually glutathione attacks free radicals, pathogens, bacteria, and what's relevant today, viruses. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, virus is obviously top of mind for pretty much everyone on the planet. What other benefits does the product provide other than boosting the immune system? Is there more to it than just that? Absolutely. It's, it's a powerful um, uh, liver support. It helps your energy levels and muscle endurance. Liver function helps promote and regulate blood sugars. And overall sense of well-being and yeah, and uh, respiratory function. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how does, I guess I should back it up a little bit. How, how do you take this product? Is it a powder that you mix in with a drink? Actually, it's in, in capsules. So okay. you take three cap capsules on an empty stomach in the morning with eight ounces of water. Oh, seems simple enough. Is there a purpose before, like when you decided to come out with this product, what was the motivation? Why did you decide to do this? It's a pretty crowded market out there. So it really started with our own health and wellness. And uh, we locked arms with a really brilliant doctor that has been studying this formula for, for many years. And we figured it would be really good uh, to bring out to the marketplace. And, you know, uh, it's really good for for healthy people and actually for sick, sick people. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, with, with COVID here, you know, your best defense against COVID is a strong immune system. And if you take GSH plus as a daily supplement, it builds, it strengthens, it maintains that strong immune system. Mm -hmm. And who are we talking about? Is this uh, from kids all the way up to senior citizens? And what's the age range for this product? You know, we basically are saying from 12 years and up and right, like right into like for seniors as well, because it's in pill form and, um, and yeah, so anybody, anybody can take it. It's safe. There's no known side effects and it should be something that everybody takes as one of their daily supplements. Well, if people are interested in doing just that or learning more, where can people get more information or actually order some of it? So we, you can catch us online at salvationnutra.com, and that's N-U-T-R-A dot com. And then we, on social media, Facebook is Salvation Nutraceuticals, and on Instagram, Salvation Nutra. Well, Darcy, Corinne, thank you so much for the time and for the information. Married couple working together at home. I'm sure that's a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> it is. <laughs> what happens do, now? <laughs> you get to do it together. Again, salvationnutra.com or follow them on Facebook. Look for Nutraceuticals or Salvation Nutra to get more information. Thanks again. Coming up on the morning mix, pop rock star Gwen Stefani, country crooner Blake Shelton. They've been going steady now for years. And uh, looks like he may have popped the question. All the details coming up in entertainment. sunshine we had yesterday. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the Fox 17 Morning Mix. Hey, we don't say it enough. Thank you so much for tuning us in, for choosing the Morning Mix to start your day. Your forecast, now well, the clouds are back. Yesterday was nice and sunny, mm -hmm. but uh, today a little bit overcast. Highs in the mid to upper 40s. Tonight there are a few sprinkles, maybe some flurries possible. There's nothing that's really going to stick. Most of us are going to stay dry 
over the next two to three days, which includes Halloween. I think the word they're using is pleasant for here. I would say, so. I mean, honestly, 50s. last year was so crummy. I mean, didn't it cold Absolutely. rain move yeah. in eventually? We it's, are due for a good Halloween. It's going to be horrible or it's going to be like this, yes. which is ideal because the weather really kind of warms up around 4 or 5 in the yeah. afternoon. So it should be pretty pleasant for your Halloween. Until then, just a bit chilly, a little bit breezy, but no precipitation to speak of in the forecast. And then look, by next Wednesday, we're back to almost 60. But remember, Saturday going into Sunday, we... That, Fall back. Oh, we Your fall clock. back this weekend. Yes. That's right, we gain an extra hour of sleep. Your kids won't care normally. If you no, have a toddler or smaller, they up. don't care. They don't care <laughs> that you could sleep in. Now here's a morning mix weather kid that would never do that to her parents. <laughs> no. Hello. I'm going to go with Maya. Maya from Grand Rapids. It's spelled M A I A. Yeah. So I'm going with Maya. Sure. All right. Thanks for sending in your picture. What a gorgeous smile. Beautiful start to our day, Maya. You just brightened everything. Thanks. Hey, you have a chance to be our weather kid of the month, too. That comes with a $100 Visa gift card from West Michigan Chevy dealers if you win. You want to enter your child, send in that photo. Go to fox17morningmix.com. Have a great day. Entertainment news. Hey, 2020 actually got a little funnier because of that guy. Jon Stewart, legendary host of The Daily Show. He's back with a current affairs series that will air on Apple+. Plus. Stewart led the helm of The Daily Show for more than 16 years on Comedy Central before his departure back in 2015. Now, this new Apple Plus show is locked in for multiple years, multiple seasons. According to the streaming service, each episode is going to focus on a single topic. I'm assuming kind of like John Oliver does with his show. Ranging from anything from national to international events and Stewart's advocacy work. I don't know if you know, but since he retired from his show, he became one of the most vocal advocates for 9-11 first responders and the treatment that they're getting, yeah. especially with their health. Powerful testimony there on Capitol Hill from him. Yep. In addition to hosting, he's going to serve as executive producer of the show as well. So he gets paid twice. Well, what emails are on the horizon for Blake Shelton? And I'm sorry, Todd, Gwen uh, Stefani. I know the couple announced my... on Instagram that Shelton finally had popped the question. And Stefani said, yes. Her caption simply said, Blake Shelton, yes, please. While in his post, Shelton thanks Stefani for saving the year 2020 for him, along with his entire life. The couple met on the set of The Voice five years ago where their friendship turned into a partnership. They later went on to write songs about each other and record music together. Last week they clinched a CMT Music Award for their collaboration in the song Nobody But You, and this would be the second marriage for both of them, actually. I gotta think, uh, there's something going on with, with male country stars. Yeah. Because, when, uh, you know, like 20 years ago, mad crush on Faith Hill. I mm -hmm. thought Faith oh, Hill yeah. was the most beautiful thing on the planet. Yeah. Tim McGraw yep. steps in and marries her. Still happy. Gwen, Gwen Stefani, mad crush on her. Mm -hmm. Another Blake, another country guy comes in. Maybe I should learn how to choose your women. Better. Twang a good yeah. choose my women better. <laughs> choose my crushes better. How about Demi Lovato? <laughs> I don't have a crush on her, but she hits the stage of this year's E People's Choice Awards. She's a singer songwriter. She's going to serve as the show's host. E announced Lovato will MC the Celebrity Awards event next month. She's no stranger to the People's Choice Awards. She's got five of them in her trophy case. She's had 12 nominations throughout her career. Lovato will take center stage at the Barker Hangar in Santa Monica, California for the E! People's Choice Awards, November 15th. Such a talent. Beautiful Demi, voice. Demi Lovato, oh, yeah. She can sing. Voice. Yeah. All right, now that we've spent so much more time at home. You might be getting antsy, well, probably to do some renovations. I painted a wall or two. Mm -hmm. Well, whether you want to do some small tweaks like that or a complete overhaul, trendy choices await you at Standale Home Studio. Your home is your haven. Whether it's your cupboards or your countertops, your backsplash or your flooring, make sure you turn to the people at Standale Home Studio to get those awesome upgrades. Standale Home Studio has gone through a bit of a brand upgrade. A few years ago, we made a change to name. Some very exciting things happening within our actual showroom, but the big piece of that is same company, little different name, same people that have been part of the Standale Granville area for 63 years. We are still a great name for windows, uh, doors, flooring, cabinetry, countertops, all of the interior furnishings along with exterior under one roof. And so we're fortunate uh, to have a great variety of brands and partners. We can met, meet any budget. Now we can work within million dollar homes and we're fortunate to be in some of that community. And we can also do a very modest upgrade and remodel that will really just cost you anywhere from a few hundred to a couple thousand. But we can work within any budget. 
put in front of us. With our most popular brands being Shaw Flooring, we do a lot of work with. They're a great partner. Variety of products in all of the different categories make them a great option in the world of flooring. And then in cabinetry, we work with many brands. Dura Supreme has stepped up to be a great partner for us. Uh, they offer everything from that budget conscious customer we talked about, all the way up to a full custom cabinet that fits exactly what you're looking for. We've been very fortunate to have many customers who are still starting from scratch, building a house all the way from the ground up, or choosing to gut the kitchen, start over, and at the same time, we do a ton of what I call quick flips. A backsplash and a countertop goes a very long way for a brand new kitchen feel without emptying out everything that you already have in there. And so we're doing a mix of both. So we've been very fortunate with our process, our products. Um, when it comes to material availability, uh, we are still finding we can get material in a timely fashion. Um, our process always will start with having you connect with one of our designers. We have a fantastic staff. From there, we can pull together what really fits you best what product, uh, what type of timeline you're under that we can then try to work within. Um, but as you come in and go through the consultative process, we then very quickly will be able to turn around either installation in your home, or if you are partnered with a builder, we by all means can also just help that builder provide product. We are fortunate to be all through West Michigan, all the way down into, I would say, Northeast Michigan. Our home has always and probably will always be West Michigan, Granville, Holland, Zealand. Um, but really, if we can drive there, we'll find a way to get you some material. And we have crews that are able to fulfill that project as well. The more you can bring, the better when it comes to preparation. Uh, we will gladly help you through that process and we can take you from nothing other than a hope and put that together for you. Um, we also would suggest and can work with you with the dimensions. The budget is very important. Coming in with an idea of what you'd like to see will make it easier for our design team to bring that to life. But whether you are just at the start of that planning process or you are ready to get moving, we can help you all the way along the way. The Standale family can do everything for you from the framing of the home and a whole different part of our business to the interiors that we're highlighting today. So what we really want West Michigan and the world to know is that we are a one-stop shop, can take that all the way from the ground up, and we've been very fortunate to be part of a community that has supported us the way they have and continue to be around for many years to come. Standale Home Studio located at 4046 Lake Michigan Drive Northwest in Grand Rapids. Give them a call, 616-453-8201. Visit them online at standalehomestudio.com. They have a huge overhaul going on in that showroom. Oh, yeah? Haven't quite unveiled it all the way yet, but once you stop in, you're going to be surprised. I haven't been yet. Going to have so to. Good. Hey, coming up, Fox 17 Morning Mix, Merchants and Makers. Hey, they're back with an outdoor event. Just in time for your holiday shopping, we'll tell you what local vendors will be there next. Welcome back. When you start making that list of who you need to buy for this holiday season, it likely will grow and grow and grow. So want some unique, one of a kind, locally made items? The Merchant and Makers Holiday Shopping Market in Holland is just for you. Join us with details is founder Shyle Lyons. Good morning, Shyle. Good morning, how are you? I'm well, how are you doing this morning? Fantastic, thank you. Great, all right, this really stresses the importance right now, especially of shopping local. Go ahead and hit on that for us. Absolutely. You know, throughout the pandemic, everyone's been able to shop on Amazon, go to Target, um, go to lots of different big box stores. And we have really missed the opportunity to shop local and shop with small businesses in the area. And it's so important to spend our money in our community with our local businesses. And so we decided we'd have one holiday market before it gets too cold. It is going to be cold Sunday, so make sure that you bundle up if you come out. Uh, but we just really wanted to give an opportunity for you to connect with all of our local makers that are so wonderful with so many unique products. So we, we kind of tease people about the fact that it's going to be outdoors, but where and when is everything? And we need to talk a little bit more about some of the things that people are going to find. Yes, so it's at the Holland Civic Center, which 8th Street dead ends right into the Holland Civic Center. We'll be outside where the farmer's market takes place. So if anyone's been to the farmer's market there, that's where we'll be. Um, there's lots of parking. It's a free event. It runs from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
We will be limiting the number of people in the market at a time to follow all the state guidelines. Um, we have our, our rules right behind me here. So we're asking that everybody wear a mask, um, socially distance when possible, not crowd the booths, just make sure that everyone's being patient and respectful of everyone around them. So let's talk about what is the same and then obviously what's going to be different about some of the things that might not be there that people enjoyed in the past. Obviously the shopping is going to be tremendous. The shopping is going to be tremendous because everyone has just been waiting to see you. All the makers have been dying to bring their products to you. So there's so many great, great products. Um, what will be different is we usually have alcohol, live music, and food. Um, we encourage people usually to hang around, stay for all four hours, have a good time, bring the family, uh, make a day out of it. But this time we are um, focusing more on just shopping, just shopping local, um, because we have limits on how many people can be in the market. We're hoping people will come through, get what they need connect with the makers and then um, continue on with their day we will have food trucks right outside of the venue so if you want to grab some great food on your way out we have patty matters voyage food truck and local nutrition who will be joining us um, but there will be no food or drink inside of the venue this year i love the fact that you guys are still going ahead with something like this and really giving everybody the opportunity to kind of think outside the box when it comes to uh, supporting local without having to go to individual stores or individual websites altogether Yes, that's our hope. And we, of course, are nervous to have a market in this in this climate. It's it's a time where we're all um, not sure what the right thing is to do. But in this case, we really just felt like we could do this safely and help um, connect um, people with local makers in a way um, to start their holiday shopping sense. It is our only market. We're calling it our holiday shopping market. So uh, if people want to follow you guys online to learn more about these, maybe these markets that are going to pop up or maybe to learn more about some of the vendors that will be there, is there a special place they can go to do all this? Yes, so we have a website. It's just www.merchantsandmakers.com. And um, we have Facebook and Instagram, which are both very active. Um, if you go on either our Facebook or our Instagram, you can see our full vendor list as well as spotlights on each vendor so you can get an idea of what there will be. I have some products behind me. Um, these are something that's on pre order. I don't know how well you can see it, but Equinox um, Pastries and Pops is doing pre orders on all of their fall. These are cookies. Oh, Are they cute. beautiful? Oh, adorable. Um, and then we have makers from, we have artists. This year we have Sonder, Megan from Sonder joining us. Um, she did a beautiful art prize exhibit. I'm not sure if you remember it, but um, where she had printed words on, um, that she'd overheard on different clothing items. And then they oh, were cute. all hung up near the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Yeah. Um, so she's going to be there with some products. We have... Um, yard signs and stickers from a new company called Let's Be Friends Sticker Co. Candles, um, wood burned items, t shirts. We've got headbands, which are always a popular item. Beautiful jewelry. We've got leather and non leather. Oh, cute, yes. We've got lots of great products. Um, you can always find something for everyone. We have products for men, women, teachers your postman, whoever you need to get an item for. And don't forget to treat yourself. All right, thanks so much, Shyle. I do appreciate your time this morning. Thank you as well, and have a great day. We hope to see you Sunday. Thank you so much. Merchantsandmakers.com for more details. We'll be right back. Morning, mix it alive. Look outside. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. We do happen to have a unicorn in the studio this morning. I love that I let you be the unicorn and I went with the bat instead. <laughs> Anyways, your family will go nut and nutty. Mm. See what I did there? Uh -huh. Over these edible fall DIY treats that we're going to make for you this morning. They're going to be little edible acorns. And of course, now we don't have it close enough, but oh, here, I'll, um, I'll take one. we can yeah, show them everybody so yeah. there are a couple of versions of how you can make these little edible acorns we're gonna have a picture pop up on the screen too there so you, you can see a kind of a closer look of these the so the one version is right there so those are little edible acorns you're gonna need mini nutter butter cookies Got em. hershey kisses unwrapped of course Got it. chocolate chips uh -huh. and then 
chocolate frosting is actually going to be your glue That's that glue. holds everything together. Now, if you don't want the chocolate frosting, they recommend it if you had a microwave safe plate, you could throw it in the microwave for like 15, 20 seconds and then set the chocolate on there to kind of get the bottom of the chocolate soft and then oh, stick the, it together. Of the kiss? Yeah. But I like frosting. I mean, I'm not going to turn down <laughs> frosting. So this is so simple. So we have our chocolate frosting. We've unwrapped our kisses. We have our mini nutter butter. And I like the mini nut nutter butter just because it has that little cute little grit on the top of it. I like so what you're going to do. Mini nutter butter in my Mouth. Yeah, I haven't tasted these yet either, but come on, <laughs> chocolate and peanut butter. So you're going to go ahead and spread some chocolate, a generous amount, but you don't want it kind of like coming out the side of it because mm. it's supposed to be just kind of glue. It's not supposed to be part of the decor. You take your Hershey Kiss and go ahead and kind of slide that together. And of course, if you have a little bit that goes off the side, you probably should. I think I did okay. Okay. So there, that's the, there's that. Mm -hmm. And then what you on. did, you yeah. jumped ahead just Sorry. a little bit Sorry. because it's not hard to do. Right, no. Put a little dab on saying, the top. Man? Even Todd can do this crap. <laughs> what she's Your toddler mm -hmm. should be just fine. <laughs> and then you want to go ahead and take a chocolate chip to put mm -hmm. it on the top. Mm -hmm. Or for this version as well, they used a peanut butter chip or a butterscotch Ooh, chip. A peanut butter chip would be fun. So it kind of blended in. But okay. let's go ahead and show the picture one more time and we're gonna do the taste test on version number one. So that's the cute little version right there. How how fun is that? Easy peasy. Yeah, ready? All right. It's I'll gonna get crunchy. All right. Mmm. That's a lot of chocolate. I'm a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, that's another <laughs> Now who's gonna talk? We didn't plan that out right. <laughs> we didn't. All right. <laughs> Next? Next one. Swallow. So that was the nutter butter one. Next one is vanilla wafers. So oh. let's show this version. Now, I gave you the mini miniature vanilla yes, wafers, we did. which are a great option. I just have the full size vanilla wafers. So this one, if you want like enough to share, 24 is kind of the rule of thumb here. This one uses the butterscotch chip on top. Same process. You take your cookie. Mm -hmm. You gotta take your chocolate frosting. By the way, most of this stuff, I'm gonna give a shout out to Dollar General, because you can get all the stuff at Dollar General, which is in every neighborhood around the Anything United States. Anything that uses frosting as glue is good with me. Vanilla wafer, chocolate frosting, yeah. Hershey, Kiss. You're gonna need the top of your acorn. Gotta put a little dab, a little dab will do ya. Another little bit of a chip on top. Boom, let's show this version on the screen. There you are, how cute are those? So those ones again have the butterscotch chip. Mm. All right, how is that? Already. <laughs> I don't know, no. that's a tough call. Mm. Cause they're both really good. I like the first one. The first one, the nutter butter? Yep. Yeah. The problem is, is if uh, I was to get this recipe and try to make these at home, I would just basically eat this. Yeah. Because once I start snacking you on these. You were supposed to bring the milk. A what? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't get that memo. Anyway, we're going to have this recipe on morningmix.com because you saw how silly easy that is. So maybe on Saturday you guys want to do something fun. We're doing like a little miniature party with Rob Bronson and myself. Yeah. Yeah. This is something we could put together. We're going to Grandma's house. This would be a good recipe for Grandma's house. Like I said, you can any neighborhood store really along the way will have the stuff that you That's need for it. So there you go. Unicorn approved. Those are really rich. Unicorns love them.